No lives. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck you, Candy Crush. You hate me! Fuck that idea. How's it going, guys? This is the Bodybuilding Gamer here, and Candy Crush hates my life. That's too damn bad. I'm better than Candy Crush. This is part two of my Galaxy S4 obsession. Again, not a review. But, on the other hand, I could not, could not leave the last video how it was. There's way the hell too many features and different cool shit with this phone that it does not fit in 8 minutes, it must fit in 20 minutes. Therefore, I have an 11 minute video. That doesn't add up to exactly 20 minutes, but if you want to get down to the fact that I'm a liar because it's only 19 minutes instead of 20, that's okay. I'll, I'll accept it. You can you can hate if you want. What do I want to talk about this video? I want to talk more about the camera because the like fucking six minutes in the last video that I talked about it was not enough. So, first up, drama shot. Now, I personally haven't gotten a chance to use the drama shot on the S4 because, well, I'm not cool enough to do crazy shit that needs the drama shot. But Best way to explain it is, and I'm sure most of you have already seen this, seen demos for it and stuff like that, but best way to explain it is if you skate or if you've ever seen a skate magazine or anything like that, you always see those like cutout posters and shit like that where it's got like the same guy doing like 10 different parts to his trick. It shows the board like flipping and all that crazy shit. That's what Drama Shot is. It'll pick up, I don't know what the... It says you can take up to a hundred shots in a short burst, so I'm not 100% sure how many, like, different sequences to the picture you can have, but regardless, it looks really sweet. Like, say you're doing a 360 flip, you can have, like, six different little pictures of you doing the flip in each different little sequence, and it'll look like you're professional and famous in a Thrasher magazine, or I don't know any other magazines. I haven't skated in quite a while. I should probably get to that this summer. I'm probably absolute fucking garbage at it now, though. Like, I was garbage before, but now it's probably just 20 times worse. Okay. Next up is the dual camera. And I think... I don't know if I'll actually ever use this, but I think it's a really sweet feature. What it is, is... Say you're using the back camera. You're trying to take a picture of a crazy scenery or some shit like that. Well, it'll take the picture of that, but if you turn dual camera on, it'll turn on the front camera. So you can take, you can have a little square with like you in it, and then the rest of the picture is the scenery that you're taking a picture of. That'd be sweet if you're like on vacation and you want to send a picture bragging about it to your buddies or some shit like that. I say shit a lot. Anyways, uh, yeah. So basically what it is is you can have two pictures in one. One of them is a little tiny picture. That's why I say you would have yourself in the shot because you can't really take two scenic pictures in front and behind because the little tiny picture you won't be able to see anything or you won't be able to see much anyways but next up in the showcase is what should I oh when you're recording a video this is sweet when you're recording a video like I don't know I'm not even gonna try and make a reference as to what you might be recording some people are fucking crazy and perverted but if you're recording a video and halfway through it, you have to decide, shit, I wish I wasn't recording so I could take a picture. Guess what? You can take a picture in the middle of the video. And I don't know if there's any sort of limit to how many you can take through the video, but you would think that it would be unlimited as long as you're recording. So that's pretty sweet. I think it just saves it kind of off into the background into your photos so that when you're done recording, you'll have like a video and like six, six pictures or something, just a example. But yeah, that one's pretty sweet. I'm probably going to end up using that one myself. And also in the S4, it's not the conventional gallery like you have in most Android phones. And I'm sorry to anybody who likes iPhone who's watching this, but fuck you. Just, that's it. Just I'm sorry if that offends you, but if you have an iPhone, you asked for that comment. I mean, you're only punishing yourself by having one, so... That's all I have to say on that. But anyways, it's not the conventional gallery that you have in other Android phones. It's kind of like a story, like a storyline type of deal. 
like on the side you'll have like all your different albums and stuff and then when you select that album it opens up like a preview of all the pictures and crap so it's not just square tiles blocks down one way it's like kind of your little thumbnail previews and then the pictures that are in that album if you go to the next one it does the same thing it's just a really nice way to organize them and a nice way to see them like if you're I don't know why you would exactly need it to look nice unless you're like trying to show off your wonderful phone to your friend who owns an iPhone I'm sorry for you and your friend but anyways let's get back away from the camera for a bit because I could keep talking about the camera for 26 hours but it has its own little antivirus deal too um, it's just called safe that's pretty simple but basically you can't catch phone aids if you're online if you got any other phone you can catch phone aids you get a virus that that's not good you don't want phone aids so with the s4 you're safe it's like a it's like an online condom you ain't gonna get diseases viruses whatever you got you, if you don't know what I'm talking about too bad I know what I'm talking about so it's okay it makes sense in my head so that's all that matters um, they even kind of incorporated this phone for old people and I don't mean that offensively whatsoever old people are the shit I get along really well with old people uh, I'm gonna break away from this for a second some of you might know some of you might not know I actually work well I work two jobs but my part-time job I work in Walmart in the wireless department and you know yeah you may say hi you work in Walmart but you know what I love cell phones I love working with cell phones, I love talking about cell phones, I love showing off cell phones, especially the S4, now that it's out. Before that I was all gung-ho on showing everybody the S3, trying to get them away from my phone. But yeah, um, like I get to talk about cell phones all day and it's really a great job. Now a problem that I run into quite often is an old person comes in like, I'm talking like 50 and up, I mean, I'm not saying if you're 50 you're like ridiculously old, but you know what I mean. Um, people come in who are like 50 and over and they want a cell phone on a contract because they want the monthly bill so most of the time like say with the S3 I wouldn't suggest that to an older person because they're not gonna be able to figure it out they're not gonna know how to use all of its functions and how to get the most out of it so with the S4 here you have two different home screen modes there's basic mode which is the conventional galaxy like uh, home screen display just how they normally are and most androids for that fact but it also has easy mode what easy mode is is it basically simplifies the home screen like makes simplified versions of the widgets bigger icons and stuff like that now I don't think they base that specifically towards old people but it does specify uh, while easy mode provides a simplified home screen experience for first-time smartphone owners okay if this is your first smartphone you're old or you're way too young so but yeah it's got the easy home screen mode so people who haven't necessarily had a high-end smartphone before will be able to use it with greater ease so now I get to try and pedal Android phones to old people as well not only young people I'm just trying to spread that little fucking green android alien to everybody because everybody needs it. Ah, there's also an S translator on the Galaxy. Now, I probably will never use this because I have no need to translate anything, but basically what it is is it has two functions. You either say a phrase into it, like I can say go eat your own ass and then translate it into Spanish and then it'll give me the spelling and pronounce how it's all said and crap like that so the other mode for it is you type a phrase that you want to translate like this basically works the same as Google Translate just on your phone and it's actually a built-in app so you don't have to go and screw around and try and get the app and stuff so like I said the second part is you type a phrase so if I type eat my ass it'll and then I want to translate it to Dutch it'll translate it give me the spelling and again it'll say and like pronounce how it's said and everything so 
in those two ways, like say you were going on a vacation somewhere and you have no clue how to speak, like Russian, let's go with Russian. You're in Russia, you want to ask, where's the McDonald's? Where's the goddamn McDonald's? So, you type it in, or you say it, it'd be a lot easier to say it. You say, where's the goddamn McDonald's? Hit translate, and then the Russian guy listening, it'll say how to say that in Russian. The Russian guy will hear that, and he'll be like, ah, blah, 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 and then it translates it back for you so you can understand it. So, I'm still going to cut it off short. I don't think I'm going to do another part to this video, but there's still like 50,000 features. Please do yourself a favor, buy the Galaxy S4. As always, thank you guys for watching, thanks for listening to me babble, and goodbye. Bye!